Uh, so Ryan, uh, season's officially ended now. Um, when you kind of look back at it, what's kind of overall feelings? Yeah, so really happy with how the season's progressed. Um, obviously, we had a really difficult start to the season. Um, we brought in quite a few new players, um, so it's always going to take time for them to gel and get our ideas and the way we wanted to play across to the players. Um, second half of the season, we've been fantastic. Eight wins, two draws, 26 points. Um, at Christmas, it did look a little bit like we were going to be in a bit of trouble. I think Christmas, we were on three points, falling adrift of the rest of the bunch, but... We went on a good run in January and March. I think there were two highlight months where we, we won four in that month, in both months, um, and climbed up the table. And, yeah, just really impressed with the second half of the season. Let's say it's just clicked. The girls have gelled, um, and we're, we're moving in the right direction. The progression as, as a whole team and squad on that and off the field has been massive in the last 16, 17 months since we've come in. Um, and, let's say, we're just going to continue to try and build on that um, moving into next season. I think you said on Sunday it was a bit of a season of two halves. You know, first half wasn't the best in terms of results. Second half was much improved. What do you kind of put that down to? Um, first half of the season, I did think we still played some good football. Um, I think results didn't go our way in terms of taking our chances and little mistakes we got punished. And that's the level we're playing at. Um, there's good players at this level and if you give them chances, they're going to take them. And in the second half of the season, we had a bit of a reality check at MK away. Um, lost that game 3-1. Lacked a bit of desire and effort, in my opinion. Um, so there was a few home truths set in the dressing room. A couple of weeks break over Christmas and the girls come back with, looked a bit more energised, focused on, right, we need to do a job. Um, and the work, re work rate went through the roof and we started to become more clinical in front of going and taking our chances and giving away less opportunities. So yeah, I just think it was desire, work rate and a little bit of a home truths changed the second half of the season but credit goes to the girls they listen to everything we say as coaching staff they take on board the information in detail we give them and it's down to them to go and execute it in the second half of the season they've been fantastic and looking back at the season what are some of your kind of personal highlights um well personal personal highlight is the team we've done the job we've stayed up in theory we stayed up so um we're outside the relegation zone that was the, always the target this year for us um so that's a massive credit goes to the girls because this league has been difficult this year. I think T, it, we've got more points than we probably expected we would get this season. Um, but other teams around us have picked up unexpected wins. So the challenge was harder and the girls have rose to that challenge and um, done the job we've asked them to do. Um, another one, probably Maori's last minute winner um, against Cardiff was a massive, massive three points for us at the time. So that was a, and beating Portsmouth at home was also um, nice. I think um, just the progression of the whole team and the squad where we're moving forward, we've got a clear player pathway. You can see Lucy, Tiana and Maori have come through our player pathway this year and broke into the first team. Ruby's come up from the end of 23 the last few games of the season and done very well and we've been impressed with Ruby and she's going to be around the first team squad next year so yeah just the whole the whole feel around the club's fantastic we've got great atmosphere in the changing room on the bus um, it's very close-knit group so yeah that's probably the biggest highlight is how the feel good factors back at the club. And going into the close season now what are you kind of hoping for um, next year? So again we're still waiting on the outcome of what league we're going to be in due to the league making a decision which is out of our hands we've done what all we can do um, so if we're in tier three which I expect us to be um, then it would just be push on again from this year finish higher in the league than we have this year um, realistically I think we can finish in the top five with the recruitment and the players we've got coming in um, and on performances based on last season we've competed with the top teams and pushed them. I think we should have got a point at Ipswich. We had two clear off the line. We at the post. Um, so Crawley, we if you look at Crawley, they finished fifth this year, and I think we've given them two great games. I think we should have beat them at home. Probably a point away would have been a fair result. But um, yeah, we've just got to turn those defeats into points next year, and then that push us up the league. So yeah, really, really looking forward to getting going again next season. Thank you, Ryan. Cheers, Dan.